Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren. It has been an absolutely insane week. We had Lila's sixth birthday. It was Valentine's Day the day after. We're preparing for Lila's birthday party with her friends, which is this weekend. My mind is just like so scattered trying to figure out all of this planning and organizing. And on top of that, because we've had, you know, all those special days, I don't feel like I've really been on top of my eating game on the WW plan. So today I was like, I am filming. I need to film a what I eat in a day. It makes me get back on plan. Keeps me accountable. Nora, as you guys might be able to hear in the background, is a little bit overtired. We had another 5.30 a.m. wake up today. She was doing better for a couple days, but she's just, I don't know, it's all over the place. We're all tired. We're all crazy. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have a great start to my morning. I've had coffee today and it is 10.30 a.m. That's it. So normally when I'm having a really on day, I try and get breakfast in before coffee and I try to get at least 20 to 30 grams of protein in before my coffee as well. So I'm super behind today. I had planned to make like a breakfast prep this morning, but I think I was just so tired from getting up early with Nora. I just didn't have the energy in me, but I'm still going to make that this afternoon and I'll share the recipe with you guys. It's going to be a carrot cake baked oats, which I'm really excited about. We'll do a taste test for like snack or something later. Um, we are actually outside of Costco right now though because we need staples including more diapers for a little Krabby Pants back there so we're gonna run really quickly into Costco maybe we'll pick up something here for a late breakfast early lunch brunch situation so let's run into Costco grab our stuff and see what we find <sighs> this one has had the grumpies all day let's see if Costco make us happy maybe they'll have samples Ooh. Let's go. Awesome. Need some of these for Lila's birthday party. Oh, no. I feel like something that would have helped me this morning is if we had some protein bars at home. Costco has a decent amount of options, but a lot of these that I'm seeing are only in like the 10 to 14 grams of protein range. And if I'm looking for a meal replacement, like a breakfast bar, um, I really want more like 20 grams of protein. That's why a lot of times I go with the protein shakes. Let's go take a peek, see what they got. They have a few flavors of Premier Protein, chocolate, vanilla, and the Cafe Latte. This is actually a pretty good deal on Premier Protein. It's $29.99 for a case of 18. I feel like when I get these at like Target, they're a four pack for like $8. They also have a lot of protein powders, um, but I haven't really gotten into protein powder a whole lot yet. And I feel like I wouldn't want to buy a super huge package without trying it first. Jessie. What do you see? Jesse. Jesse. Oh, Toy Story. Yep. Yeah, I don't think Jesse's on there though. Always a good purchase here. They're like over $3.50 at the regular store, and that's a two pack. All out of this. The main reason we came here, I feel like I never hit it right anymore to get these when they go on sale. They do go on sale like once every three months, I think. We were doing that for a while when Nora was littler and we were getting diapies at a good price. Mickey, well, we need them today. Mickey, Mickey. Oh, yeah. Yep. Mickey. You see the Mickey on the Huggies. Sorry, girl. We're a Kirkland's brand fam. Blueberries. Raspberries. Grapes. These are for Lila's birthday party. Hey, put those down. Are you being a chip thief? Thief, thief, thief. <laughs> oh, my. It's cold. Let's get out of here. These are an interesting new item. They're like grab and go pasta salad in a jar. But I wonder how many servings this is, because $6.79, I could make something like that for a lot cheaper probably, but that's a good idea. I've gotten cottage cheese here once before and I was afraid I wouldn't use it all. We had no problem <laughs> using this up well before it's date. Oh, are you gonna hold the cheese for me? Oh, okay, good job. Okay, you guys know we absolutely love the Just Bear lightly breaded chicken chunks, $17.99. Kirkland has come out with some very similar, supposedly $13.99. So I think we are gonna give them a try and give you guys our, our taste test to see if we actually like these just as much. I feel like I've seen these back at mini fruit bars a bunch and I've wondered about them. They had some first samples today and the lady actually gave me an entire bar to try. Nora, you like it? Let me take a bite. Take a bite. These are two points a bar. Nora loves them. No sugar added. So there's eight strawberry, eight mango, and eight blueberry. So pretty good. 60 calories, one bar, two points each. 
can't beat Costco lunch prices. We're gonna grab lunch before we head home. All right, so we got one of the chicken bakes. These things are absolutely massive. So yes, these are like 26 points on the WW plan, but I'm gonna split it with my trusty sidekick here, Nora. Hi. So it'll be 13 points for half. <laughs> and also grabbed a Diet Pepsi. Nora sits thumbs up on the chicken bake and she's having another That's Kind bar. This is a strawberry one. You like it? Is it good? Mm. We are back from Costco. Um, Nora is napping. I've just been doing some laundry and little stuff around the house. So I'm gonna go ahead though and take a few minutes while it's quiet here and make those carrot cake baked oats I mentioned. I will put a link for the original recipe in the description box below. This is one I came across on TikTok when I was trying to find some easy breakfast prep recipes. This one will be good for breakfast, a snack, if you're just craving something a little bit sweet. This recipe serves four, but you could easily, if you wanted to do this more like a snack, cut it into more servings and then it'll also be less points. So I believe one serving is nine points and that's just for the bar. I'm also going to do like a Greek yogurt frosting on top instead of like a cream cheese frosting you would have with a carrot cake just to make it a little fun and special. But again, you can check out the recipe, see if it's something for you. You can always tweak it here and there to make it work. Some things you could do to make it a little bit less in points. I'm using almond milk, so that'll save some points versus either 2% or whole milk. You could also completely skip the additional sweetener of maple syrup and just use banana depending. Bananas can be really sweet and sometimes you don't even need the extra sweetener. Or you could swap in an equal amount of other sweetener, like a zero point sweetener, like stevia or monk fruit, something like that. Hopefully if I can get it done and baked now, it'll cool and be perfectly ready for our after school snack when we go get Lila from school in a little bit. I'm starting by mashing two very ripe soft bananas, the riper the sweeter. Adding in two cups of old-fashioned oats, one tablespoon of nut butter, I chose to use peanut butter, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, a pinch of salt, a teaspoon of vanilla, a teaspoon of baking powder, one tablespoon of pure maple syrup. Again, you can skip that to save a few points. And then I'm adding in one cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk, giving that a good stir until everything is nice and combined. This actually makes a great base for oats and you can mix up the type and flavor by adding in additional things from here. Since we're doing carrot cake oats today, I'm also shredding up one large carrot. I love my Guidel shredder. I use this for cheese, for vegetables. It also has a slicer function for potatoes. I'll go ahead and link it in my description box below. It's one of my favorite kitchen tools. So I add in all that shredded carrot along with a quarter cup of chopped pecans, a quarter cup of raisins. I press that into a baking dish. I'm using an eight by six, but this also fits well into an eight by eight. Then it bakes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 to 35 minutes until it's all set. This one did not sleep very long. So she went down a little late for a nap than she normally does and she got up early. So unfortunately it was only about an hour. So little ponytail. Are you tired still, Gwumpy? So we're having a snug on the couch. Maybe we'll turn on a little show or a movie or something until we have to go eat Lila. We have about an hour though. Baked oats are in the oven. Um, I bet she will love those too. So um, we'll have to let those cool before we try them. But we'll have that as a little snack in a bit. The oat bars came out of the oven just before I went to go get Lila from school. So I left them out on the counter to cool. So then when we got home, I sliced it into servings. We topped each with a tablespoon of plain nonfat Greek yogurt and about a teaspoon drizzle of pure maple syrup. Right, we got our after school carrot cake oat snack. Nora's dipping hers in Greek yogurt. Lila, how'd you like yours? <laughs> you still have your birthday stuff. We have like streamers and balloons everywhere. Does it taste like carrot cake? Mm. So I actually ended up cutting this kind of like banana bread since we're doing it more of a snack. So instead of um, just cutting this into four servings, which would have been nine points, which would have been great for like a hearty breakfast meal, I actually cut it lengthwise. It's a little hard to see down this way. And then like in six. So there's actually 12 servings I got out of this as snack size servings. So that makes this size only like a third of a serving, and that's three points on the WW plan, zero point plain on fat Greek yogurt as our faux frosting, and a teaspoon of maple syrup. 
adds just another point. And dad got home just now early too, so he's sitting down for snack time. Fam snack. Nom, nom. What do you think? It's good. Yeah? You're not usually a big baked oats fan. Not bad, not bad. Delish. Okay, ignore the sound of my dishwasher running right there. But first look at the Kirkland lightly breaded chicken breast chunks we picked up today at Costco. They look pretty similar to the Just Bear ones. Although I will say these ones look a little bit more like breaded versus battered, which is almost kind of what the Just Bear ones remind me of. So these are going into our air fryer at 400 for uh, probably about 8 to 12 minutes. We'll shake them a few times in between and just see how we do. All right, the chicken nugs are done. They look pretty good. We are doing chicken nuggets, biscuits, and fruit tonight for dinner. So our verdict, we really liked the Kirkland chicken breast chunk nuggets. They were really good and meaty. They had a good flavor. I will say we still prefer the Just Bear ones just a little bit, but I would definitely buy these again. Guys, I feel like a crazy person right now. It is 10 o'clock at night and I'm boiling eggs. Why? Well, I was editing this evening this video so I can get it up tomorrow. And then I went and took a nice relaxing bath. But while I was in there, supposed to be relaxing, I could not stop thinking about food. And I was so, so hungry. So I looked at my WW app on my phone and I was thinking about what I ate today and I'm like, yeah, Lauren, of course you're hungry. Where are the vegetables? Where's the good fiber? I had some fruit, but not a lot, and my protein was way low today. So here I am at 10 o'clock. I do have some points left for the day, but I feel like I should be just going to bed, but I am starving. So instead of popping in the pantry and just ravaging through and seeing what I can grab out of a bag, I'm making an egg salad sandwich and some veggies on the side. Facts, if you didn't know, you can take frozen broccoli. This was a steaming bag, I just cut the top off, um, and pop it right in your air fryer. It needs to cook a little bit longer than fresh broccoli, but keep going to get as much of the moisture out as possible, and then you get super, like, kind of charred, crispy broccoli. Add some spray butter and some salt, a nice, like, crunchy, salty broccoli swap for chips, I guess. When they're looking defrosted and like they're starting to cook, put on just a touch of, this is some avocado oil spray. And then instead of going butter on this, I'm going some ranch seasoning and a touch of salt. Shake, shake, shake. And back in for another few minutes. All right, hard boiled eggs are done. I do like a steam boil, so I only bring the water like halfway up the width of the egg. Get it to a low rolling boil, add your eggs, add a top to it, let them steam for nine minutes. Then I turn the heat off, I let them sit there for another minute, and then I moved them to an ice bath. They peel like a dream, they slid right off. Obviously egg salad was not planned for right now, so I found what I could in my fridge to make this work. I am out of mayonnaise of all things. I'm out of mayo, light mayo, any sort of mayo right now. We used up the last bit the other night, and obviously I was at Costco today, but I didn't do like a regular grocery store trip. I need to do one of those the next day or two for next week. Four eggs here, peeled, ready to mash up. I'm gonna add like a quarter cup of this low-fat cottage cheese. Oh, maybe a hefty tablespoon or two even of yellow mustard. And we have one lonely dill pickle left floating in her jar that I will chop up and add to this as well. Centers of these eggs are so like creamy. I guess this is what I mean when I said I started using cottage cheese all the time, like for everything. I could not hee hee. It's beeping at me. Ooh, yeah. Crunchy. A little salt. Touch of dry dill. My chopped up dill pickle spear. Ugh, guys, this tastes like the inside of a devil egg. Yum. Random tip of the night. Once you go through 
a pickle jar, container, etc. These are the dill pickles, the barbecue style ones from H-E-B. Don't throw this away. If you have thin cut chicken breasts or some tenders, toss those in there for a couple hours. It'll tenderize them and marinate them. Then you can add your own breading and put them in the air fryer. They taste just like Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A uses like a dill pickle kind of marinade with their chicken. That's what makes it taste like so unique. So anyway, we're gonna make some some faux Chick-fil-A chicken burgers, I think, this weekend. Now I could get a ton of protein in for only one point if I just ate the egg salad alone. I have points left today and I'm feeling hungry, so I'm actually gonna make mine into a sandwich. This is Sara Lee Artisano bread. It does come in one slice for three points, two for seven though. So that's seven points. You could also just do one slice like an open face sandwich or toast it and make it on toast, but I really just want a sandwich right now. That makes so much, I can't even fit this all in one sandwich. So it's about half the mixture, I'll have that for now. And I can always tuck that up in a container for tomorrow. And there is my meal. My broccoli is uh, absolutely charred to the heavens, but you know what? I don't hate it, I kind of like it. And hopefully this will now satiate me the rest of the night. I can stop that food noise. I'm having a good choice. I'm not hitting up the freezer for the leftover ice cream cake from Lila's birthday we have in there. But I'm gonna eat, do a little bit more editing, get myself into winding down time, and then finally go to bed. Josh did say he'd get up early with Nora tomorrow if she wakes up early again. So hopefully I can get a little bit more normal sleep. So that's gonna be it for my what I eat in a day on the WW plan, getting myself back on track after a couple of off days. Thank you guys so much for following along. Make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe so don't miss out on my next one. And until then, bye. bye.